Hello everybody, this is Raj from Game Gorillas. Hope you all are doing well. And uh, I wanted to have a quick video about uh, something that I came across a couple of days ago on Facebook. So as you guys know that uh, I'm, you know, following many groups of indie game developers, iOS developers, and you should do that as well because it keeps you updated on what's happening in the market and uh, gives you a lot of information about and ideas from other developers. So I was on a, a particular group the other day where uh, some developer had asked as to which project management system uh, is the best to use for game development and how can uh, the productivity increase and how can a developer plan out uh, his his entire project or, or the way forward. So keeping that in mind, I thought for our users at Reskin Games and Game Gorillas, we make a little I make a little video uh, showcasing uh, the software that we use, so you guys can probably use the same. So <clears throat> this is the project management tool which we use for uh, our game development and our in-house productions. Uh, it's called Trello. Now. There are many other project management tools out there, uh, but this one specifically, after our you know 10 years experience in uh, digital services, you know we've used Collab, we used uh, uh, Boots, I don't know, that's something you know many softwares, probably for more than five, we've used uh, till this time. But there's one software which I particularly loved uh, is called Trello, and the reason is because of its simplicity. Now let me not talk about it more, and let me just go straight into it. Uh, and give you an idea that why the software is uh, works really well. So let me just log in. All right. Okay. Well, I think I. Fine. All right. Fine. We in. Excellent. So once you log in. Uh, sign up takes probably less than 20 seconds so once you log in this you'll see this particular thing it's called my board we have a default board that is already in our system by Trello we, you know probably gonna have a look at that <coughs> but we'll have a look at how we go ahead uh, and use this tool now there are two ways to use this one one simple is that if you're if you're on your own if you need your own plans then it can be simply used as a to-do list for yourself and the other thing it can be used is that one if you have a company and if you have uh, people around you if you have a big team probably uh, all over the world you know some some uh, graphic developers designers ASO guys quality testers and this tool can basically just get them all in together so let me start with the first thing uh, where you can use this tool very simply for your own self so let's go ahead and create a new board I like to okay what the hell is this uh, okay, let's let it be. I like to use this for myself as my daily tasks. All right. So once you enter this, you'll notice that uh, you created my daily tasks as a board, and I have a very simple way of doing this. Uh, it's it's pretty stupid, but actually it works. It's like uh, to do today. That's one category. The other one is tomorrow or someday. And the third is completed. Now, this is what I have for myself. And what I generally do at the beginning of every day or you know, whenever I come up with an idea uh, that I need to create or stuff that I need to do is, so I use this. So when I use this, it's, let's just say we have uh, email, email Richard. And I have uh, discuss new project with team. Upload pending games. Make video for project management. <laughs> Manager meant for Trello. All right. And the best thing is, of course, you can see is that I, I have the spell check in as well. So that's great. Now. When I start working on this, you know, whenever you log into the system, it's a simple to-do list. You know, you don't have to you have to get away from your uh, uh, pens and pencils and, and notebooks because eventually you're not going to remember all the things that you've planned out. So what I do is that when I uh, complete each task, I simply drag a task 
and get this in you know that's it that's it and so I know what's pending what, what's on my uh, you know radar what what do I need to complete etc et so this is the most simplest way of using Trello for yourself now if you need to use Trello for a team let's just say we have a company and let's just say we we start up a new organization the first thing that we need to do is probably add new members to it you, of course you can be your you're the admin here you can use you can invite people and the easiest way to invite people here is just type in their email address uh, all right and they'll pop up in the system even though uh, you haven't added a particular member as yet any member any person in the Trello system who's used Trello before you just need to type in their email addresses now if the person has not uh, signed up for Trello before all you need to do is you need to just enter the email address and there probably would be an invite feature here and you can just invite that person and he automatically joins your uh, uh, your uh, profile or your organization on Trello so that's what it's pretty pretty easy to get getting everybody on board probably 10 15 100 members um, uh, in the system but let's just go back to the boards now this is an organization board unlike the board that I showed you before uh, it's not a private board it's a public board where other people can see this now let's create uh, a project for our my team members now let's say we name it the basketball project okay now a project unlike the to do list before has many modules and submodules. Now, how we can go ahead and use this is uh, is something like this. Now, here are the milestones for we name it the milestones, and under the milestones we name it uh, milestone one, and we name this. The first thing is designing. The next thing probably would be programming. Other uh, than this would be, let's just say, let's just stick on to this right now. The first is designing, but of course designing, when you're working on an app or a game, designing is not a small thing. There are too many things that you need to do uh, and various people are involved in it. So what we need to do is that we need to click on designing and then go inside this particular uh, uh, milestone or this particular area and create its sub-modules. And in other words, it's simply a checklist. So once you go to the checklist, let's go in and click uh, GUI or graphical user interface or GUI for all people and let's just say in designing this is the first task that we need to do we can of course add the designing member to this particular checklist very easily now let's just go to the GUI and uh, let's uh, home screen okay for the basketball game and then we need to create the icon for the game we need to create five screenshots for the game and we need to uh, create the options menu options menu and pop-up boxes and overall overall complete the interface all right let's just this general stuff that i'm writing here so once you're done with it you'll notice that on the outside as a project owner you'll be able to see that the zero of six stars are there in this particular milestone when your designer is working on it he'll be saying the same thing and once these modules are getting completed you as the owner would have an overall picture of a module that what is there that is completed and how much is remaining so it works in a very simple way but it's very easy and it's the best thing that you might need uh, as the as the project owner now it's not just for task list you can see the other areas as well here like you have a checklist you have a due date for the project you can use attachments uh, where you completely eliminate the use of emails when you use attachments you can communicate uh, write a command uh, great guy great job guys you can use all these things uh, into the system and you can communicate with your entire team via the system so it totally eliminates the emails and keeps a record of all your communications in one place if you guys got an idea you got a URL anything at all you can just post it now uh, this is how we use the system and it's just a quick overview what I've given you today but I would like to tell you that go and try using this you'll get an idea how things work you'll find many more ways how you can scale this forward 
you know keep implementing me and the best part about the system is that you can use it in your own way like the task list that I you know I found a little way to manage my uh, daily jobs so so this is it for Trello I recommend that you guys register today and if you have any questions please feel free to uh, put them in the comment section be uh, below and uh, if you like the video if you think that you know it's it's uh, worth it uh, hope you guys can share it with other people in groups and otherwise and uh, that's about it I wish you the best of luck and success in whatever you guys are doing cheers bye bye